PTO setup on the Sal's Chalmers tractor is pretty slick. Right now it's mounted with the outer bolt pattern on the flange and set up for 540 RPM implements. If we need to run a 1000 RPM implement, we have to switch over the stub shaft. We'll spray some croil on the bolts to fight any corrosion that may have built up since we often go months at a time without switching over. And once all of the bolts have been removed, we can pull out the shaft, revealing the 1000 RPM PTO stub shaft on the back side. As you can see, it is a different spline pattern. What's really nice is that there's no mess of oil that spills out like on some of those green tractors, and as you watch here, you'll see that the inner flange rotates at nearly double the speed of the outer flange. So with the output shaft flipped around, we'll line up the inner bolt pattern on the two flanges and put the bolts back in and torque them to that two or three ugga dugga spec. And in less than a minute, you can have the PTO switch to a different speed with no mess. So what do you think? Is it a great design or is it only a matter of time until those bolts shear? 